Hi my friends, this is Material Girl 338. Today I'm making tortellini soup, but I'm using steak, okay? So, in some oil, olive oil, I have a piece of tough steak, and I'm browning it. I don't know if you can hear me because I need it really loud. Alright, this recipe is delicious, and I'll show you what I do. I put a cup of, uh, these are frozen um, celery. This is about four or five minced garlic. This is two shallots, some frozen corn, uh, corn, some frozen uh, carrots, and I freeze my vegetables. If you could freeze them and save them, do it. I blanch them and then I freeze them. I have one can of beef con condensed um, Campbell's soup, but I really never use this, but I have it in the closet, so I figured let me use it. I have some mushroom uh, uh, broth that I made when I canned my mushrooms. I have one can of diced tomatoes, roasted diced tomatoes. I have a little bit more of a quarter of a cup of red Chianti wine. I have some uh, freeze-dried spinach that I made, but I, I don't know if I'm going to use this or I'll use my frozen one. So i got to clear out my refrigerator, my freezer. And this is some uh, freeze-dried parsnips. I always freeze-dry the parsnips because you use them when you're making a broth or a soup. All right, so um, the meat, I've seared it for a couple of minutes. It's still a little red inside, and that's what I want, because I'm going to have to slice it. So I'm just taking it out of the oil and putting the oil back on. And I'm going to sweat my carrots. Now, since the carrots are wet, you know, they got ice on them, they're going to splat. And you're going to do it on low. sweating the carrots and I think I'm going to add a little bit more of carrots. Alright, that's good. So you want to put them on like a medium and you're going to get them like a little bit, they're going to get like a little gold to them, a little gold color to them. But because they're wet, they now have the, it made the oil watery. So I'm going to have to put it on high because I want to reduce the water that's in there. Normally, if you're doing it with dry carrots, it won't absorb the water. So I'm going to sweat this. I'm going to put some pepper on it. And a little bit of salt. Okay. Now the meat is, I'm going to let the meat rest a little bit. I'm going to let it rest. And then I'm going to slice it. I'm going to slice it on the di diagonal across the grain. And then at the very end, I'm going to put the meat back into the soup. Okay, this has got to, the water has to evaporate and the carrots have to, I think, I, I'm not sure of the name, but it's called a foie The uh, chefs make it with foie they they talk about it. So that's what this is. And I think they add the celery as they're making that kind of roux, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice my steak Okay, everybody, uh, what I've done is I added the uh, celery back into the pot. The water has uh, dissipated, and because of it, it was frozen. So if you're not using frozen vegetables, you're not going to have this uh, situation. All right, so I'm going to just, I have it on high because I wanted to reduce the water. So now I'm going to take it out. 
and I'm going to set it aside. And there's still some water in the oil, and as as the fire, you know, the flame, it will evaporate. Because I now want to put my onions and my garlic in. And you don't want to boil your onions and your garlic. So I took the meat and I sliced it and I, you know, made it little tiny pieces. So let this oil cook down a little bit, take the water out of it. I'm going to open up my... Um, my parsnips. chicken soup but my grandmother made the best chicken soup and if I did check it out and if I didn't I'll definitely do one she made the best chicken soup it, it wasn't only chickens it was meatballs and the chickens it was delicious all right so the oil is down I'm gonna uh, fry my garlic just may overpower it. All right, let this get a little bit cold. I'm going to open up my mushroom. And I always smell You really do need to mince the garlic when you're doing this dish. Don't do the, um, you know, chopping up the garlic. It needs to be very small because you really, you don't want to taste it, but you want the flavor of it. All right, so this is getting nice and cooked. Just like a couple more seconds because I want the shallots to turn a little gold. I'm going to add my carrots and my celery. I'm going to put my parsnips in. Since they're freeze dried, they're very light, but as soon as they get near the water, they reconstitute. Now since the carrots and the celery is already cooked, I'm going to put my mushrooms in and the juice, my freeze-dried mushrooms. If you don't have freeze-dried mushrooms, you can use dehydrated mushrooms or just canned mushrooms. I happen to have the freeze-dryer, so, but these 
I dehydrated. No, these are not freeze dried. These are dehydrated. Let this uh, get like a little gold. You know, let it cook a little bit. It's got to get warm. And um, I'm making a video on uh, sun-dried tomatoes. So I started to sun-dry these. But they're too thick. I'm just going to take the skin off. Throw it in. the meat back. Oh. Try not to mess your soba. Add the, the red wine and I may add more. Gonna add the mushroom juice. I didn't empty the whole thing in because the bottom of the jaw has got some of the um, mushrooms. I'm going to add the beef broth. And I never used this. I never used this. But I had it, so I figured let me use it. You're going to need more uh, chicken stock. I had some uh, beef, actually it's lamb broth that I made in my, one of my videos. Now it's got the bones in it, so I have to not put the bones in it. But it's got the uh, lamb in it, so I'm going to add it in, whatever you have, folks. the bones. I didn't take the bones out. Okay. I'm going to add that in. This is going to be delicious because it's got all different kinds of broths in it. Now I added my tomatoes. It's going to have more water. I got to put water in it. You're gonna need more water because at the end you have to put the tortellini. That's two cups of water, and I'll do three cups of water. Opening up. No, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, frozen spinach because I've got to clear out my freezer. i got to find it first. And of course I would have it all the way in the back, on the bottom.
This is uh, fresh spinach, and I just froze it. You don't have to blanch it. You don't have to do anything. Just freeze it. Wash it, clean it, dry it, and freeze it. Okay? That's it. Don't put too much in. Then it gets the spinach flavor. Okay? I'm going to add a little bit more water because you, you're making soup. Now I'm going to add some salt. And then I'm going to taste it as I go along. Once the flavors of the meat and the carrots and the parsnips, then you taste it. A little bit more pepper. That should be good. Stir it. I have it on medium. I'm going to put it on medium low. And I'm going to let it cook. Okay, it's going to boil. I'm going to bring it down. I don't want it to boil. I want it to simmer. And I, I, I'd say maybe about two hours. Because this is a good pot. This is a, a Dutch oven pot. And you can cook stuff in here for long periods without it burning. So I'm going to say two hours. I'll see how it tastes. Okay, everybody, this is the finished tortellini steak soup. I tasted it. It is delicious. It is so delicious, and it's because of the steak. You, you, you have to use chuck steak. Uh, the wine, you can taste the wine in it. And I used a cheese tortellini. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe to my channel, I always have other videos coming in. And if you... Uh, could. If you have any comments or any questions, please post them below. I do interact with my fellow YouTubers. Thank you, everybody. Bon appétit.